All right, guys. So today we are going to figure out what is the fastest way to cool down a drink. I have some Amazon products, so we're gonna try those. And then we're also gonna try some like DIY methods. Like frame of mind that I'm doing these experiments in is say you have drinks that are room temperature and you have like friends or somebody coming over and you need them to be cold with within like 30 minutes. So 30 minutes or less. These are gonna be our test subjects. First, uh, let's get a reading of what they are, room temperature. So uh, room temperature, we're looking at 68 degrees. That's not bad. So the first test that we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply put one in the fridge, one in the freezer. I'll let them sit in there for 30 minutes and uh, we'll see how cold they get. All right, so it's been 30 minutes. This one has been out of the fridge and this one came out of the freezer. This one feels ice cold. So I think the freezer actually did a pretty good job. So we started at 68 and we're only down to 61. Not that great. Where are we at over here? Oh, okay. We went from 68 to 41, 40. Let me taste them and just see, see what they feel like. Yeah, the one out of the fridge, you can tell it's like, it's just not been in the fridge long enough. And it's kind of like just warm. I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like it's cold, but I can tell that it was not chilled thoroughly, I guess. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's weird. I can just tell that like it was put in the fridge, like it was cooled down really fast or something. Almost like maybe the outside is colder than like the inside or something. It's so weird. I don't know how to describe that. So far, I mean, the fridge, if you got it, if you need to drink to, if you need to cool drinks with 30 minutes or less, fridge is definitely not an option. Freezer could be a decent option, but I think we have some better options. So the next two things that we're gonna try <clears throat> are these. These are electronic drink coolers as they're advertised. They're obviously from, like they're from different manufacturers and whatnot, and they're made different, but they both pretty much do the same thing. They have some type of metal cup, some type of like little cooling piece here in the bottom. You're supposed to put your drink inside the metal cooling cup and it's supposed to cool it down. I've tested something kind of similar to this before and it was a complete piece of garbage and didn't work at all. We're gonna get these things going. We're gonna let these sit for 30 minutes and, uh, See how cold they get. So this one's pretty simple. You just turn it on there. This one is uh, only Celsius. So it's 18 degrees Celsius, I guess. And this one's gonna cool it down cold, I guess. So come back in 30 minutes. So before we go any farther, this video is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped has released the new Weed Whacker 2.0 ear and nose hair trimmer. So let's take a look at it. So the first thing to know about this one versus the 1.0 is that this one has an upgraded blade system. It also uses a 7,000 RPM motor that is actually pretty quiet. And then on top of that, it has the skin safe technology. So you're not gonna cut and nick yourself. And especially with an ear and nose hair trimmer, you don't want cuts and nicks inside of your nose or your ears. That would be horrific. It is also cordless and rechargeable and it has a 45 minute runtime. And the charger, unlike the 1.0, is now a USB-C, which is so amazing. And on top of all that, the Weed Whacker 2.0 is now included in all of the Platinum Package 4.0 and the Performance Package 4.0. So, if you're interested in one, you can go to manscaped.com, use code TUBE, and you'll get 20% off plus free shipping. And all of the links will be in the description. So, it has been 30 minutes, and this one says zero, zero degrees Celsius, which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. There's no way that that is accurate unless it is uh, just measuring the temperature of like the, like the temperature of the plate right here, which, I mean, that feels cold. But these drinks, they feel the exact same. Slightly, a little bit chilled maybe, if that. 
So let's check the temperatures. I'm going. I'm going to go ahead and guess. If we started at 68, I bet maybe these are going to be 55, maybe. Wow, not e <laughs> not even. And I'd say this one's probably going to be about the same. No, this one's even worse. How is it worse? Oh, I see what's going on here. The deeper you go down, the very bottom, which, you know, the cooling thing is on the bottom, so that would make sense. It would be the coldest. This one only goes down to 62. This one goes down to 57, 56. So that's interesting. If you showed if you showed both of these to me, asked me which one I thought was going to be the best, I would, say, I would have said this one because it has the cover. So it kind of can create, like, a... Um, its own little cool environment. But apparently, uh, apparently there's a discrepancy here. So I think both of these are kind of, actually I think they're kind of matching what the fridge did. It makes them pointless because why, why would you use this when you could just put the drinks in the fridge? The only exception would be if you don't have a fridge. I don't know, maybe if you're camping or something and you have electricity, but you don't have like a fridge or a cooler. So just out of curiosity, we're gonna put these things on here opened. I'm gonna leave them for another 30 minutes and we'll see how low they go. I came back after another 30 minutes, checked the temperatures, and the temperature had gone down maybe like one or two more degrees. So then I left it for I think an hour and then checked it and it had gone down maybe like two more degrees, not much at all. So then now it's been a total of I think about three hours that I've just left these things running in a cool garage. I think the ambient temperature in here, I wish I had a thermometer, but I think it's only about like 67, 66 degrees in here. Let's see where we're at now after three hours. Actually, I think almost close to three and a half hours, to be honest. Let's see where we're at. Okay, I mean, 46, 45. 45 for that one. It's not not terrible. Wow. This thing <laughs> this one sucks. I really thought that this one would be uh so much better because it has it's upside down. Because it has the lid. I don't know why, but the lid just gave me the impression that it would be so much better. But this one sucks. Let's uh let me give these a taste test. Let's see. I mean, that's cold. That feels like it just came out of the refrigerator. It only took three hours to get there, but outside of that, it's fine. Now, this one that came out of here, you can, you can tell whenever you drink it that it's like just on the edge of starting to get cold. You know what I mean? It's not, it's almost like you put it in the fridge and you just poured it out a little bit too soon. That is definitely a letdown. That's bad. Regardless of the fact that this one is a little bit, is a little bit better. <laughs> if you need to cool drinks uh, relatively fast, neither one of these are good options. Let's go on to something else. So this is our next product. This is called the Cooper Cooler. Now this, supposedly, the way it works is you are supposed to put ice and water in here and then you put a can on top and it's supposed to spray out cold water and then it's going to spin the can and it's supposed to make it really cold really fast. The reviews on Amazon, everyone says this thing is amazing. I have my doubts because I just don't see how spinning it or putting water on it is going to do anything different than if you were to just put the can in ice. You know what I mean? I, the temperature should be the same. To me, it should be the same thing. I don't know why it would be any different doing it this way. So I don't understand the why you need a machine to do this. But also, what do I know? I just make YouTube videos. So I have some ice and water. That should be enough, I would imagine. Let's see, let's select can. I don't think we have enough water. Do I need more water? Oh, I guess I, I guess you need quite a bit of water. So let's add some water. 
That should be enough, right? Ah, there we go. Okay, that's actually a lot of water. I think this thing might have a pretty good chance. So we have our room temperature can. I guess it just, no matter what, it just sits there. Actually, I wanna see what goes on. Can. Oh, okay, so now it spins it. Okay, we'll just let it shut so it doesn't spill water everywhere. I'm curious what it's gonna come out at. I think, you guys make your guesses, I think if we're starting off at like 68-ish degrees, I think if it, can do, get, if it can get it down to 50 and it does it quickly, I think that's a win in my book. It's already done that fast. This is ice cold. I said if it could get below 50, then I would be impressed. This feels much colder than 50. Okay. No way. 43? 42? That fast? From room temperature to nothing? I mean, from uh, room temperature to 42? And like, whatever that was, a, like a minute or something? Maybe like a minute and a half? I think I'm wrong. <laughs> I think I'm severely underestimating this thing. You know what? I have to admit that I was wrong. This, like, those other ones, especially the ones that came out of those two like little cooling things, you can kind of tell that they just didn't feel like they had been like cooled all the way. It feels like it just right, came right out of a refrigerator. If you handed me something out of the fridge and this, I wouldn't better tell the difference. And there's also a setting on here for for extra. A can, the can setting, and then do extra, and let it run for maybe like just a little bit more. And I bet we could get it even, even more ice cold than that, much quicker. That I wanna see. So let's do, this thing also, I'm gonna have to like play with this thing. Apparently you can cool down wine bottles with this thing too. So we're definitely gonna try that. So this one. Another room temperature can. Let's put it on, you can do them both, can and extra. All right, let's see how that comes out. That, I bet, if it cooled this down that, that quickly, I bet this one is gonna be very close to 32 degrees. Maybe like 34 or something. I'm so impressed with this. I didn't like, this is, this is blowing my mind. I didn't know you could cool a drink this fast. That was, that was quick again. That was maybe like, I don't know, two minutes or something. Ooh, ice, ice cold. Let's see, where are we at? That's what I figured. Down to 36 degrees. Okay, fair enough. This, I think this thing is gonna be the best option that you could possibly have if you want to cool down drinks quickly. Ice cold. Actually, honestly, I think this is like, at least for me, this is a little bit too cold. That's kind of like you're just like drinking the Arctic. I'm not really into my drinks being that cold. Uh, let's try a, a wine bottle. See how that works. So I have our bottle of wine. I think. Oh, that was actually easy. So this thing pops off. We should be able to just put this in there. I, I think that's gonna make a mess. All right, let's put it on the wine setting. Yeah, it's gonna make a mess. All right, let's see if it'll do it. Okay. That took a while. That's ice cold. Also, <laughs> if you were somebody that uh, really cares about how the labels uh, on your wine bottles look, the little uh, rubber wheels kind of like just wore, wore grooves in it. That's something to be aware of if you're someone that cares about how your bottles look after they're 
empty for some reason. I bet this is going to be probably just as cold as the cans in the 30s, if I had to guess. This bottle's so slippery now. Get our fancy wine glass. Oh, all right. Red wine stinks. Why, why would you drink that? Gross. Kind of smells like grapes and rubbing alcohol. Where are we at? Forty seven. I feel like that's a pretty good temperature. I guess I need to taste it to, to see how what forty seven degrees feels like. Here we go. <clears throat> the taste isn't so good. Why would you want to drink that? This is this isn't about the flavor. This is about how cold it is. It does. Uh, I mean, it's almost hard to judge the, the how the coldness because of the flavor. Um, it feels cold. Um, it feels good. It feels like it kind of came out of the fridge, I guess. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not too cold. It's not not too warm. <coughs> Other than a nasty taste. Out of everything that we've tried, I think this is going to be our winner. I don't think that anything is going to be able to compare with this. I have one more like DIY method that I want to try that could compare to this. Could. Two sips of wine, I can't even talk. I have another method that could compare to this. So the last thing I want to try is I heard somewhere one time, if you take a bowl of ice water and then you add salt to it, apparently adding the salt to the ice water is supposed to like make it do some like sciencey stuff and somehow it's supposed to get drinks colder faster. I don't know, never tried it. We also, I ran out of off-brand Sunkist, so we're gonna have to switch to the old Dr. Thunder. Also, I uh, timed the, uh, whatever the name of that other thing was, Cooper, the Cooper Cooler. The, just the can setting by itself runs for one minute. So that's what uh, we're gonna try to beat here. See if we can get something comparable to that within one minute. I have no idea how much salt you're supposed to. I mean, that should be enough. Mix this bad boy up. All right, we got a minute on the timer. Three, two, one. Okay, simple enough. Three, two, one. Okay. That is cold, I'm gonna be honest. The can doesn't even hardly feel cold. 60 degrees. I'll be impressed. That crack even felt like it had some heat to it. <laughs> we might, it might be 59. No, not even. 60 degrees. So we went down approximately like eight degrees in a minute. So there's gotta be something to the spinning action. There's gotta be, there's gotta be something to that. I guess I can spin it with my hand. We can try that. Why not, why not give that a try? All right, let's put the timer over here. One minute. Look at me, I'm basically a professional. I bet this is gonna be just as cold as the Cooper Cool. Although my, <laughs> my wrist is kinda getting a little tired. If you did this very often, carpal tunnel for sure. It does feel a little bit cooler. So we had 60 last time. Let's see how many degrees we went down just from spinning. Oh, look at that. Just from a little bit of spinning, we got all the way down to 51, uh, 52. I guess, depending on where we hold the thermometer. Eight more degrees just from a little spinning. That's pretty impressive. So they're definitely, the spinning definitely does a lot. 52 is still a little, still a little warm. Let's see if maybe, what, just one more test. Maybe, maybe you don't have a Cooper Cool, but you have this. Let's just put one in here for like, say, five minutes and see where that gets us. Because that would be uh, way faster than the fridge, freezer, or anything else that we tested besides the Cooper Cool. 
So let's try that. All right, five minutes. In you go. I bet that's gonna do, do pretty good. All right, five minutes. That, that water is so cold. I don't know. I don't know if we quite got there. Let's see where we're at. Oh, okay. We're actually like 48 degrees. That's not bad for five minutes. So probably maybe like seven or eight minutes and you'd be like really cold. Mm, 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 mm. I didn't think about that. In case you didn't catch it, what happened was some of the salt water from, from the bucket was collected around the rim so whenever I took a drink, it was just like salt water mixed with Dr. Pepper. Or Dr. Thunder, excuse me. That was gross. I mean, that's ice cold. I like that. I wouldn't complain about that, honestly. So I'm actually glad that I did these tests. These are some tests I've been wanting to do for a while. It looks like if you have the money to spend in, in the counter space, I assume, and you want to cool drinks fast, go with the Cooper Cooler. But if maybe you don't want to buy the Cooper Cooler, you can just break out a bowl with some ice and some water and some salt. And within five minutes, you can have an ice cold drink. That's a pretty cool hack. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If there's anything else that you want to see me test, leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.